In eastern Kentucky, some students still aren't back in school after flooding made their buildings uninhabitable. Desks, chairs, tables, crucial pieces of furniture were wrecked at Hindman Elementary this morning. Two of Kentucky's biggest school districts stepped in to help one of the smallest. A small Kentucky school in a small Kentucky town still empty this year. You can see from the pictures that they were just flooded out, their furniture was destroyed, desks were destroyed, their bookcases were destroyed. July floods at Hindman Elementary in Knott County reached as high as four feet. Chairs, desks, and tables that should hold students held water. I think everybody thinks that, you know, the teachers are ready to go back to school, the kids are ready to go back to school, but these buildings are not ready to have students in them in eastern Kentucky. Students haven't returned to the classroom, lacking the basics, but JCPS and Fayette County Public Schools gathered their own extras Tuesday with help from Jeffersonville's Mr. P Express. This will be my second time down. The company will take JCPS's desks, chairs, and tables to Fayette County. The donations will then make the trip east, a road Ken Biggs has traveled already. Like any job or any, any family, you have good days and bad days, but when I went down there, I realized my worst day is, is still not as bad as what was going on with these folks down there. Tuesday, these folks loaded up the surplus supplies. You know, you know, I'm just a regular guy, but it's just, I think that's what it takes, just regular people doing, you know, things working together. Regular people helping out. We're doing our little bit, our share, to try and make this a little bit better place. So regular days can start up again. The Knott County School District serves 2,400 students and 2,460 students across seven schools. Hindman Elementary has about 480 students in grades K through 8.